So you need a OBD2 scanner that won't break the bank and still has all the good features and everything like a $100, $200 scanner. Well in this video we're going to go over the VXDOS OBD2 scanner and be able to see what's inside of it, see what features, and put it to the test. Hey techies, welcome back to the Gross Tech Show. I'm Josh, your host, bringing you useful reviews for useful technology. On the show we do unboxing, news, and reviews, as you guys know, but if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. So, VXDOS sent us over their OBD2 scanner, and honestly, this was something that I was excited to be able to see and test because I like to do a lot of my own work and diagnosing in my cars. And to be able to have the code scanner and be able to see what those codes that are giving out really helps and makes fixing your car that much easier for the DIY guy like myself. And honestly, I've been looking for one, but it has been so difficult to find a cheap, good one. And I don't want to spend $100, $200 on them like you find at Advanced Auto or AutoZone. But VXDOS has came out with a code scanner that honestly is under 30 bucks, And that link is down in the description. You can check it out on the website, see all the reviews and everything about it. But let's go out to the car and put it to the test and see what it actually does. Alright, so here we are. I'm sorry about the shaky hand and camera and stuff, but uh, I just wanted to show you one of the biggest things uh, I thought that they did amazing is they put a flashlight on the end of the actual connector and to be honest uh, when you need to find the where you plug because a lot of times it's underneath and to have that little uh, flashlight makes it so much easier so I mean it's literally as easy as you find where your port is here mine's on the side uh, it's daylight so I don't need the light you plug it in and it turns on you don't need batteries in this so you don't have to worry about replacing those it's pulling juice from your your car so you've got the OBD2 scan itself the ready scan your setup which you can go in and change your unit of measure your language if it beeps that kind of stuff uh, and then an IM quick scan which will show you the status of your ignition module and your uh, maintenance of what your machine has and they have different protocols that which is what it's doing now is trying to see what protocol my car uses and so here we go I got spark ignition fuels fine and it everything's good it's got three lights up here green red and yellow if it every if it's green means everything's good if it's yellow or red it means there's some um, codes to get the codes you'd go into OBD2 again it will link to the vehicle through those different um, protocols whichever one that your vehicle uses and there's mine I hope it's not too glary see if I can get it a little less glary yeah it's very glary uh, so since mine doesn't have any I can't read them uh, but we can go into read codes, store codes, there's none, pending codes, there's none. So I don't have any there. You can go into your vehicle info, uh, tells you to turn the key on. You can get your ID number, your calibration ID, you can get all your type of information on your vehicle from this. Uh, you can get live data which is I believe gives me everything like your battery voltage your fuel systems spark voltage short shifting I believe is what that I don't know S I don't know what each one of these does but you, which OBD2 you have is OBD support this does OBD2 like anything that is 1996 again and newer uh, and again it's got everything 
that you need to be able to diagnose the codes that you get in your car by yourself and honestly that is the biggest thing for me is to be able to do that on your own without having to go somewhere and to not spend a hundred bucks on something yeah there there's some other scanners that are able to do more and uh, go more in depth and everything but honestly you don't need more than what this is able to do if you're a mechanic okay you need more but as somebody that just needs to be able to test to be able to diagnose himself and fix it himself the problems this is perfect uh, Vexdos has done an amazing job in making a cheap very durable it's very I mean you're, you're not gonna break this throw it around the lights perfect I, I love that there's light that's my favorite probably my favorite feature and it's a nice bright LED uh, so you never have to worry about battery changes you never have to worry about this thing breaking but it's it's nice to have around the house and that's why I wanted to show it to you guys and uh, again link is in the description below for this I know Black Friday's coming up and even though this is cheap it might be even get a, even cheaper on Black Friday so keep an eye out on that uh, again thank you again for watching my name's Josh Gross from Gross Tech God bless you and I'll see you next week bye